leaders have led the nation in mourning the loss of lives after that grisly road accident that claimed the lives of uh, 56 Kenyans. And now some of them took to Twitter, some of them released statement. Let's begin with President Uru Kenyatta who said, quote unquote, my heartfelt condolences to the families of fellow Kenyans who lost their lives in a tragic road accident at Fort Tannen in Kiricho County this morning. And uh, I wish those in, in wish those in hospital quick recovery as authorities investigate the cause of the accident with a view of taking action. The statement continues uh, in the next page here. And the president added that I would like to remind drivers to always exercise caution to avoid such catastrophic incident. That is a statement from President Uru Kinata. The next in line is Deputy President William Bruto, who had a statement on his Twitter account, his official Twitter account, saying that the nation is united in grief following the tragic road crash involving a bus at Fort Tennant, Kericho County. We condole with the affected families and wish quick recovery to the injured. That is a part of the statement from Deputy President William Bruto. Next is uh, uh, Senator Gideon Moy, of course, is Senator Baringo County. He said, quote unquote, I send my heartfelt condolences to families who lost their loved ones uh, following uh, the Londiani Mohoroni Road accident this morning, which has so far claimed 50 lives. That number has increased to 56, as we've already reported. He continues to say that I also wish the survivors undergoing treatment in various hospitals as PD recovery. That is a statement from Baringo Senator Gideon Moy. I believe there is two more. Uh, one, of course, the statement from uh, Senator Baringo, of course, it continues saying that the loss of lives is devastating, especially to the families and shocking to the nation. I appeal to motorists to be careful on the roads and at all time observe road safety rules. Police should also continue uh, to be vigilant. Uh, he concluded by saying that I wish also to call on the doctors attending to the survivors to diligently do their best to save their lives. One final one from ODM leader Raila Odinga who said, quote unquote, that I send my deepest condolences to the friends and families who have lost their loved ones in the horrific accident that occurred at Fort Tenen. May the souls of all the departed uh, rest in eternal peace. I appeal to police officers to arrest the return of madness on our roads. I believe, the, uh, I believe there's one final statement here from Musali Mudavari who said, quote unquote, my deepest condolences to the victims of the tragic road accident at Fort Tenen that has led uh, to such a huge loss of life as turned by their families in this uh, trying moment. Uh, that is the final uh, statement there from Salem Davari And Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko said, quote unquote, I convey my deepest sympathies and heartfelt condolences to the families and friends of 50 passengers who perished in a road accident involving a bus at a tunnel a flyover on the Londiani Moroni Highway. I want caution. Uh, PSV drivers to always observe traffic rules to avoid such incidents. One more from Moses Wetangula, the Fort Kenya leader, who said, quote unquote, the return of the nightmare on our roads through accidents is unwelcome. Offenders must be punished to deter reckless, uh, recklessness. Law enforcers slipping on the job are equally guilty. I condemn the Fort Tenen accident. Victims, families must be compensated. That is a statement from Moses Wetangula there. I think that's the final one we have uh, for you after that very shocking, horrific incident that happened early this morning where a bus traveling to Kakamega, uh, you know,